What's going on Airsofters? Storm here. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own Storm Airsoft Mesh Mask. I've been asked by many people, well, how did I paint my mask through social media and on the field? Some people even ask me, where did you get that mask? Thinking I purchased it pre-made, which is kind of cool and flattering on my end. Anywho, I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys step by step on how to paint your mask like mine. Don't worry guys, this isn't a difficult procedure by any means. If I had to rate it from a 1 to a 10 of how difficult it is, 1 being effortless and 10 being extremely difficult, it would be a 3. 3 being is because what you really need for this project is a lot of patience, because it does take about an hour to make. First, I'll go over each item you'll need to start with, as well as where you can buy them and the price. Item number 1, your airsoft mesh mask. I suggest getting an all black mesh mask, since adding white teeth onto a black mask makes it stand out a lot more. The one I got was from Amazon, and I got it for roughly 9 bucks. It was a pretty sweet deal considering that most airsoft vendors sell these masks for roughly $20 to $25. I'll leave a link to this exact mask at the bottom of the description. Item number 2, Acrylic Paint. The colors you'll need are primarily black and white. You can pick up small bottles of acrylic paint at Walmart for under a dollar each. Any other color is optional and really up to you if you want to make your own design and input, such as getting red for blood splatter. Again, you will need black and white, anything else is optional and up to you. Item number 3, Paint Brushes. You can pick up a bag of paint brushes at most pharmacy and art craft stores. I got mine at Walmart for roughly 6 bucks along with my acrylic paint. Item number 4, Painter's Tape, also known as Masking Tape. Painter's Tape is extremely important for creating your custom mesh mask. It'll act like your stencil in a way. It's not crazy expensive either, it cost me about 6 bucks at Walmart. Item number 5, Water. You'll need to mix the paint with a little bit of water. It'll make the paint a lot more smoother. Item number 6, Cover. You'll probably want to get some cover underneath your entire workspace so you don't make a mess with the paint. Item number 6, Toothpicks. You'll need some toothpicks to poke out any air bubbles that you may create while painting your mask. You can just blow out the bubbles if you want to, but from my personal experience, it causes quite a mess. Also, toothpicks are really useful when you're taking out the masking tape. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. Item number 8, a good pair of scissors. You'll need a good pair of scissors to cut the tape. Make sure you use a decent pair of scissors that do a good job at cutting, not those weird childproof ones that are used to cut Play-Doh. The following items are optional. You don't need them to create the mask, but they're pretty nice to have. Optional item number one, acetone, also known as nail polish removal. This is useful in case you want to make a brand new mesh mask design and remove your current design. It's not needed, but it's nice to have. Optional item number two, a black balaclava. Hopefully I did not butcher that name, but basically a black face mask underneath. Although it's not required, I highly recommend a black balaclava, hopefully I didn't butcher it, for two good reasons. Reason number one being that it'll make your design stand out a lot more. The black face mask will act as your dark solid background. Since your mesh mask has a lot of holes, light will shine through it, and if your lower face is glowing with the light underneath, it'll make it harder for people to see your design. The black face mask prevents that from happening. Reason number two being, if your mask gets shot, the paint of your mask may chip off and go into your mouth. Although this still happens to you even if you didn't paint the mask, it's not a major hazard, but it's something worth noting. Wearing a mask underneath will cover your mouth and prevent this from happening to you. You can purchase a bundle of two amazing balaclavas on Amazon for 15 bucks. They're made of nylon and are extremely breathable. They're the ones I always use when I go play airsoft, and I honestly can't play without them. A link to these face masks will be in the description if you're interested. So now that you guys are ready to go, let's begin this tutorial. Step number one, paint the entire section of your mesh with white acrylic paint. When you pour paint onto your plate, add a small drop of water onto the paint you poured and mix it with the paint to make it smooth. Begin painting the entire front section of your mesh. I know this looks really funny and strange, but it's part of the procedure. Make sure the entire front section of your mask is white. Sometimes there'll be sections on your mask that are a little bit darker than the other sections. Brush that section with white a bit more until the entire mask has a good balance of white paint. Step number two, plan out your design. Although you're just adding teeth, you kind of have to have a design or some sort of pattern planned out. Because if you start adding teeth randomly, trust me, it's going to look sloppy. Have like a pattern going on where you first start off from the top left with five small looking regular teeth, then suddenly have a really sharp one. Do the same to the other side, make it, make it symmetrical. 
it will make your mask look a lot more professional. You can sketch out a design, look online for designs. You can do whatever you want, but you have to have a specific design in mind. Step number three, apply tape teeth. Once your mask is completely dried, cut your tape into shapes of teeth and apply them onto your mask. When you're applying them onto the mesh, make sure they are firmly pressed against the mesh. Make sure they stick well because we're going to be painting over them afterwards. Give a good press until they seal nice and tight. Step number five, or four, I forgot, I, I lost count. Repaint the entire front section black. Try your best not to brush directly over the tape. Paint along the sides of it. If you need to, you could slightly paint over it, but do it gently and not too much because the tape will peel off. Do this until the mesh in the front is completely black and has no sections of white whatsoever. Once you're done, let the mask dry up. You can put away all your paint and tools in the meantime. Step number seven, or six, I lost count, dang it, f Step number 4892, remove the tape. After your mask has completely dried up, you can now remove all the tape. Try not to scratch or pinch the mesh with your nails too hard. This will cause the paint to chip off. There you have it guys, your very own badass and unique mesh mask. You're now ready to intimidate your enemies. This is the bare bones of my mesh mask design. But since it's custom, you can do whatever you want to it. But for the sake of this video, this is how I did mine. But guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it. Share this video with your airsoft friends. If you're having trouble or just have a question, don't be afraid to comment. I'll help you guys as much as I can. And last but not least, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more kick-ass airsoft videos by yours truly. I'm Storm, and I'll see you guys on the field.